All yours. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Jen, and this is my daughter, Morgan. Hello. <laughs> We're here for the Perler. We're here in the Perler lab today, yes. right? And um, we are excited because we are doing a Halloween project, right? What's yes. our Halloween project today? Our Halloween project is we're going to be making pearly like Halloween decorations to actually go onto your pumpkin. Okay, so we have a few people logging on right now. We just have one thing we need to do. Mary, can you just help me a second? I'm sorry, the screen. Can you just hit that? Thank you, sorry. Sorry, everyone. There we go, okay. Okay, so we have a bunch of friends logging on right now. We're just gonna let everybody get on. But while we wait for everyone, we're just gonna tell everybody what we're doing. It is the glow in the dark pumpkin decorations. Wanna show them what it looks like, Morgan? So you can, and this is a real pumpkin. You can just put them on your pumpkin to decorate it for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And the best part is that they, Glow in the dark. They glow in the dark, so they're very cool. Okay, so as everyone's logging on, we're going to go over our supply list today. So most importantly is the Perler beads. The Perler beads. So we recommended the 5,000 glow in the dark bead bucket from Michaels, and this has a bunch of different colors. You want to tell them what colors are in the bucket? We have glow pink, glow green, go orange, and normal black. And normal black right so these are very cool colors in the bucket you'll have instructions we also have the pegboard that you'll need today so the bucket comes with a white square small pegboard but Morgan and I also like to use the clear as long as it's square I'm using a large I like to put more than one project on it at a time and I like to use a little small one so I can do one project at a time correct so we used these the last time we were here um, not too long ago on August 8th we were here with you on a very special day it was National Perler Day it was National Perler Day so we celebrated our favorite day with all of you we made um, back to school projects we made bookmarks and fruit bag tags. Right, so they were all in the shapes of fruit and the bookmarks are great. We um, were getting ready for go back to school and the bag tags could be put on a book bag, a lunch bag, yeah. or you put it on your- I put on my viola. Yeah, so you, a sports bag, they were great. Um, the other things that we recommend that you get today were some head pins from Michaels. This just helps the project stay on. Um, this is something that you'll need your parents help with. But if you don't have the head pins, that's not a problem. You can use a hot glue gun. Again, ask mom or dad. Um, any way that you want to stick the project on the pumpkin is great. Um, also in the bucket is ironing paper. And this you need for all our perler projects. The great thing about ironing paper is it's reusable. So once you use it today, you can fold it up, and put it aside with all day. your supplies, and you can use it again and again. Um, I also like to use the tweezers. That's optional. Morgan has tiny fingers, so she likes to use her hands. And I just feel a little bit more comfortable with the tweezers. And then most importantly, the iron. The iron is... Um, a, just a regular household iron. It is no steam, no water. Um, no water, correct. And please make sure that we grab an adult before we do the ironing. Any adult around you is good. Correct, correct. So earlier today, you should have received your downloadable uh, printable pattern sheet. And today we have four different projects. Go um, ahead. We have the ghosts. We have a witch's hat, we have a pumpkin, and a little bag. Right, so I think we're ready to get started. How about you? Yes. Okay, so if you guys are ready, we are ready. I'm gonna move my bucket aside. We um, separated our beads before we started. You didn't have to do that, but um, certainly it does help just to get organized, it makes it a little bit easier. And take your, if you have the clear board, you put it on top of, your project and if you have the whiteboard you'll put it next to it and you'll count the beads you'll count the pegs 
and that's how you'll set up the project that way. So which one is are you going to do today? I'm going to be doing the ghost and the witch's hat. Okay, the ghost and the witch's hat. So I'll do the pumpkin and the bat. So I'm going to put my pegboard right on top and we'll get started. You ready to go? Yes. Yeah. So what I like to do is I like to put them in my hands and then while they're in my hand, I put them on. Right. It's and a lot easier from just grabbing it every time. Right. And I like to put them in my hands and then use the tweezers and grab it out. And when you start the project, it's really up to you how you decide you feel most comfortable doing the curler project. Some people do it by color or just in line with the pattern. Like some people like to do it from the top to bottom to bottom to top. Right. So I personally like to do it by color first. So I'm going to start and put my orange beads in. And I'm gonna do all the orange first. And everybody goes at their own speed and that's okay. If at any time you think we're going way too fast or way too slow, let us know. Mm -hmm. There's a Q&A on your computer and you are more than welcome to put in some comments, ask some questions. How's it going? Good. Good. So Halloween is right around the, the corner. corner. Can't wait. And guess what? This yeah. Halloween, what? It's going to be a full moon. It is? Yeah, full moon on Halloween. That's cool. That's so cool. How about our friends out there? Does Anybody have their Halloween costume picked yet? Anybody want to tell us in the Q&A what they're going to be for Halloween? Do you know what you're going to be, Morgan? Have you talk, thought about it? Yes. Yeah? You want to keep it a secret? You can keep it a secret. Um, so I was going to be with my mom. It is, I was supposed to be, I, it's maybe though. We're still thinking We're still about. thinking. Sometimes we like to do mother-daughter. Halloween costumes. And this year it is going to be, she was going to be like the barista from right. like the coffee right. shop. Right, the coffee shop. And I was going to be like a pumpkin spice latte for <laughs> Halloween. Season. Which I love, I still love that idea. I think that would be great, right? Yes. Ooh, Ooh, a dragon. That's cool. That is a really cool costume. Sometimes we buy our costumes, sometimes we make them. But if we are going to do like the pumpkin spice latte one, it is going to be homemade. Homemade, right. We talked about um, maybe getting some tool and doing the foam around the, yeah. around the collar. And that's going to be really funny because it would be really funny just to walk around and be like, I want a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> so fun. Hope everyone's doing good out there. I have a question for you guys that you guys can write into the DNA. Are you guys Q and A? Q and A. Sorry. Question and answer. <laughs> so, are you guys going to be like, like for Halloween? Are you guys going to like dress up with your bestie, your mom, That's or are you question. just going to be by yourself? Go with a group of friends. We like to go with groups of friends. Makes it fun. So. Whoop. This downloadable printable project sheet you received from signing up, but also at perler.com, we have a ton of free patterns. So after today, you can continue to use your bucket or maybe you're using beads of other colors today. You can go to perler.com, you can download tons of free patterns. Um, we have holiday patterns, we have everyday patterns, fruit, just a, a lot of great things. And if you don't have the bucket today, you can get creative. You can use, you can make a purple pumpkin. If you have purple beads, it does not have to be this you exact can color. Make, like maybe a blue ghost. Right, you can get creative today. If you have the bucket and you wanna mix up the colors, if you wanna glow in the dark pumpkin, 
that's what's great about perler beads. You can really do a lot of different things. We make jewelry with our beads sometimes. I like put it on like this little string. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can see behind us, but we decorated with perler beads today. Right behind us. <laughs> so you can put beads in jars and vases. You can make a candy corn with the yellow. I love candy corn. Black and white. How's it going? Good. Good? Oh, you're doing a great job. I'm already halfway through my little fix. Are we going too fast? Are we going too slow again? How's it going for you? And I'm just moving my sheet over. It's gonna move. Just line it back up again. I moved my, my pegboard moved over a little bit. I just had to line it back up. How is it going for you? For me? Yeah. It's going great. My pumpkin's coming together. And if you mess up, no big deal. You can always fix it up again. Right? That's right. Easy to fix. Very easy. I also turned my iron on a while. So if mom and dad are there and you want to have them just heat it up, we keep it at a medium heat. Remember, no steam and no water. Right, and mom and dad, please. It's a regular old house iron. Household iron, right. You're going so good. Thanks. Also, we would love to see your projects today. So if you can have mom and dad throw it on their social media page, Hashtag make it with Michaels. Then we can actually see it. Yeah, we did that the last time on National Perler Day. We had a ton of our friends post their projects. And they were so good. They were so good. So we would love to see them again. Can you even see oh, my glow in the dark? Because these are glow in the dark beads. They are glow in the dark beads. Okay, are we getting close? Me too. I have a few more orange. I have a few more. These like glow green. And if for some reason you wouldn't get done today or you have to walk away from the project, the instruction sheet is in the bucket, so you can always come back. We also have great instructions on our website on how to iron if you need to go back and get some tips on ironing. Stem in. Then I have the pumpkin so face. Cute, Mama. Thanks. Line it back up again. Good job, Morgan. Thank you. I'm almost done. You guys take your time. Go at the pace that you need. And if you're still putting in the beads. That's okay. You That's can okay. Take your time. I'll show you how to iron. But just Another remember the question on the temperature setting again. Okay, so we Ooh. put our iron at a medium heat. And then you'll see when we start to iron, everyone has their own way of ironing. You can Put more pressure on and close the beads if you want your project to have the beads closed. And when you're done, like done making your thing, you ironed it and everything, to make it glow, you do have to like charge and activate right. it by putting it up to the light. Right. So we, the light helps the beads become more bright when you turn the lights off. So they'll last a little bit on your pumpkin if you put them outside right away, but then tomorrow, you're going to want to charge them up so they glow again on your front porch. Oh, good job. I'm done with my ghosts. Done with your ghosts. I'm almost done with my pumpkin. You have another board, right? So you can start your next one. Okay. 
I'm gonna put it over here. Thank you, and I'll grab it for you. Just be careful. No big deal, if the bead falls off, we'll fix it. Remember, if it does mess up, no big deal. You it is no big deal. It. Okay. Now I'm on to my witch's hat. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to iron the pumpkin that I did while Morgan continues to do her my witch's, witch's hat. hat. Okay, so our iron has been on. It's on medium heat. You can keep going. How many are you guys doing? Are you guys doing two? Or are you guys doing all four? Are you guys just doing one? Right, and if they don't get more than one done today, that's fine. They can go back and finish it later. Or maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Next week. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Okay, so the ironing paper. Okay, so you lay the ironing paper on top of your furler project. Careful with the iron. Again, you will need a adult Correct. to do this part. Correct. So I give a little bit of pressure. I usually use just a circular motion. And I'll show you, you can see that the beads are starting to be become melted. You can see it through the ironing paper. And here is another question while um, she irons. Do you guys like your beads open or do you guys like them closed? Right. right. Some we people. Have first question, Morgan. Rachel says they've got two bats going. Oh, Ooh, good that, job. That is a good job. Great job, Rachel. Just got to make sure you especially get the edges of the project. And again, I do a light pressure. You can see they're starting to close through the ironing paper. And I like to just check on it. Make sure no beads are falling off. And then I take the board, because then you have to do the other side. And I flip it, and the pickboard comes right off. Look how cute that is. Do you guys know what's really cool about the witch's hat? What's really cool about it is because it uses all the colors. Oh, that is that is cool. The so then, have the so you'll have the pink glowing, the green will glow, the orange will glow. And then the normal black. Right. Okay, so now you're not done ironing. You ironed one side. Took the board off. That's okay. So then I fold the ironing paper on top of the project. And here's where I don't iron as much as I did the first time because I like the beads to look open. So I just give it a little bit. And it is warm to the touch, so just be careful. And there you have it. Look at that, Morgan. Ooh, this is her little pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. So cool, now I'll iron your ghost. Thank you, it's right there. Okay, so again, move it over here to my iron. Put the ironing paper down. All right, medium pressure. On this one, just make sure you get the beads at the bottom of the ghost. There's three beads at the bottom. I'm gonna make sure they start to melt. And again, you can see it starting to come through the ironing paper. Ghost over here. Take a peek, see if I have one. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Now this is where I flip the project over. The pegboard comes right off. Do the other side of the ghost by folding the ironing paper on top. How's the ironing going out there? Anyone want to put in the Q and A if they're ironing them closed? If it's going well? Are you ironing them open? 
Some people do like to iron them open. Okay, like um, and there you have it. There's a ghost. That's so warm. cute. I know that's great. But the, after you iron it, you do have to let it sit for maybe like five minutes because it is going to be hot. Correct. So you want it to cool down. Start for about a while. And then I'll hand it off to you. Okay. Teamwork. Right, Morgan? Yep. Okay. I love the witch's hat. You fixing it? Yeah. Yeah, no big deal. I'm tired of the line. That's no big deal. I know. That's the best thing about the perler beads, right? And I'll start the bat a while. What are some of the other perler projects we've done that you love? Ooh. Remember this one? Would you hold up here? The microphone. The microphone. We have a great pattern on our website for a microphone and then we had some pretend. There's 3D waffles on our website. Yes, that's one of Morgan's favorites. favorites. It Lots has of like food. maple syrup, butter, a plate, and chocolate chips, which is really cool. It is really cool. You guys should go check out our like website. Some of the patterns are really great. And Perler projects make great gifts for your teacher, for mom and dad, little brother or sister. We make them for friends. Sometimes I like to make them for gifts. For gifts. Love that. Maybe back to school gifts for your friends or your teacher. Every teacher would love a Perler project. Anything handmade is great. There you go, you're all lined up. Yep. I love, the, I love the pink stripe and the witch's hat. I do. There's also like this orange stripe too. Very good. Is I block by accident? <laughs> That's the best part. Being creative. Yeah, so you can make his eyes pink or orange or yellow. Again, don't forget to put your projects out there for us and hashtag make it with Michaels. We would love to see them. We share them with everybody here at our Perler lab. What's one of your favorite Perler bead colors? Ooh, definitely toothpaste. <laughs> We have some great names for our parlor bead colors. Toothpaste is very cool because it does look just how you would think it would, like toothpaste. And the color is actually right behind us too. Yep, lots of colors. Time to stretch. Hmm. Hopefully everyone's ironing went well. Did it go well? <laughs> yes, we got some yes. Oh, good. Yay. And one more time, did you guys iron your perler um, closed or open? Keep it closed so we can show them. How to put it on a pumpkin. So, we brought some real pumpkins with us today. You can put your project on real pumpkins. 
Um, you can also buy the craft pumpkins if you don't have your pumpkin yet or hold on to it until you do get them for your front porch. Last black and I'm done with my You're all wood done. Pot. Okay. I'll iron that for you while you can keep going on this for me. Thank you so much. Yep. All right, so let's iron the witch's hat. While she irons it, I'm doing her back. Okay. And paper on top. Not many to do there. See it coming through the paper. A little bit more on the edge of the hat. See that bead was moving. Okay. We're gonna flip it around. And here you go. Okay, there's your empty board. You put that aside. That's okay. Oh, Hold the iron. It's also a little, a little bit warm. It sure is. Hold this over. Give it a little bit more. And then right now your pearly beads should be cooled down. Correct. Let those cool. Okay. So we have the witch's hat. Okay, so why don't we show everyone how we put these on the pumpkins a while. So let me grab this pumpkin for you. We're gonna use these pins. Where do you think you want it on the pumpkin? I'm gonna want it on the other side. Okay. And again, this is where you get an adult. If you're using pins or if you have a hot glue gun you're heating up. Hmm, which one should I do? I think I'm gonna do the ghost. Just gonna find a place where I want it to go on a pumpkin. Let's see. Over here? Yep. Okay. Let's put the pen through. We're gonna put through his nose right in the middle. And it goes right on. So cute. Okay, should we put the other one on? Yes. What do we end up on the pumpkin? I was thinking because we or did the all of them, so I was gonna think we didn't do the bat yet. Okay, so let's do the bat. Put it on the bat right now on the pumpkin. Push it in with the pen. Super cute. Look how cute that is. So cute. We Great. Got a pumpkin, the witch's hat the bats and the ghosts. So fun, what a great way to decorate for Halloween. So who wants to see our pearly beads glow in the dark? Do you guys? <laughs> but okay. just remember one more time, to activate these, you do have to put them up to the lights. Right, okay, so let's watch them glow. One, two, two three. three. <gasps> so cool. They're flying. So cool. That is awesome. We hope you guys love it. These are great. The glow in the dark beads are so much fun. So thank you guys for joining us today. Do not forget to please put your project and online hashtag make it with Michaels. We really enjoyed being here with you today, right? We did. This was so much fun. We're getting so excited for Halloween. Check out the rest of our patterns on parlor.com. And we hope you guys have a great rest of the week, right? Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.